Hello everyone. Welcome back to this tutorial on Informatica MDM. In this tutorial, we are going to see what are the risks associated with the filtered match in Informatica MDM. We are going to see what is filtered match, how to configure it, what are its limitations and how to resolve those limitations. So let's start. First, let's understand what is filtered match. If you go to the Informatica MDM Hub tool, inside that you will find the match and merge configuration under the each base object table. In the match and merge setup, there is a section called match rule. Under the match rule sets, we can configure multiple match rules. And for each match rule, we can define whether it is a filtered or it's a fuzzy. So there are two types of fuzzy matches available in Informatica MDM. First is filtered match and the second is fuzzy match. There is an exact match scenario is also there which is which works totally different than the fuzzy match. So fuzzy match has a two different types we have to remember it. One is filtered match and other is fuzzy match. Filtered match and exact match in are similar in nature. That means the result of the filtered match and the exact match are little similar. But the process on which it depends, for example, the filter match, this matching is performed on the application server. While the exact match scenario, when we configure the base object as an exact, then the matching happens on the database side. So that's the main difference. In the filtered match, matching happens on the application server and in the exact match, matching happens on the database side. Between the exact match and the filtered match, filtered match is better in the performance because it runs on the application server. So the connection to the database or the impact due to the database performance issue will not occur while running the match job when we configure the filtered match. So filtered match is always better compared to the exact match. But there are, could be scenarios where the exact match will work better than the filter match. So it depends situation to situation, but generally in real time project, we prefer filter match over the exact match configuration. Filter match allows us to configure the exact matching scenario without making the base object exact. That means same fuzzy base object can be used for exact matching as well as the fuzzy matching. That's the benefit of the filtered matching. And the second benefit, as I mentioned, it, it is definitely better because it runs on the application server. Now let's consider one example and we'll see how it is related to the filtered match. So in this example, we have the first name as a John and the last name as a Paul. So these are the two record available in our system. Their date of birth is also same and SSN value is also same. The only difference between these two records is the full name. Full name has slightly different first name and also incorporate the initials of the middle name in the first record. So as we see, these records are quite similar. By looking at this record, manually we can tell that these are the nothing but the one and same person. Now, as of that, there are some business requirement associated with these records. Let's understand what is the business use case here and what are the configuration we need to make in order to achieve the matching. The business scenario here is business team would like to match the record based on the first name, last name, date of birth, and SSN. If you notice here, based on these four criteria, our sample records are matching because we are not considering the full name or the party name in this matching scenario, the records are matching. So those are one and same person. Now, in order to achieve this business scenario, there are a few configuration we need to make. The very first configuration we need to make is nothing but the define the search level. There are different types of values available for the search level. Search could be typical, exhaustive and so on. Then we need to configure match rule 
for first name, last name, date of birth, and SSN. So as we can see here, the section which is highlighted in the green, we have configured the exact date of birth, exact first name, exact last name, and SSN. So based on this criteria, records should match, which is satisfying our business requirement. Then we can configure the type of match as a filtered match. Then in here we can see the fuzzy match key in this case is party name or in other words, it is a full name. Now these are the configuration we configured in the MDM hub which to satisfy our business requirement. Once we configure this requirements in our MDM hub, we need to understand what will be the problem if we configure this way. So what is the issue with the filtered match condition? In our sample data, even though all the columns are exactly matching, that means we are satisfying the business requirement, record will still not match even if you run the match job based on the what are the configuration we have. Why the records are not matching? We'll see in the next slide, but this behavior, even the records are same based on the matching column, record will not match. This behavior has confirmed by Informatica and it is expected behavior. We'll see why it is expected behavior. The reason why the records are not matching, it's because how the underlying the filtered match works. In case of filtered match rules, the record first get filtered based on fuzzy match key. In our case, fuzzy match key is a party name. So, or other words, the fuzzy match key is nothing but the full name, which is different for the two different records. So in this case, as the fuzzy match key or the party names are totally different, the record first of all will get filtered out in the matching queue. Hence, these records will not fall in the search range. Hence, this record will not match. So this behavior happens even the match columns are exactly matching. So in our case, first name, last name, date of birth, and SSN are matching. So ideally, this record should match. But our fuzzy match key is different. That is the reason record will not match. And you will see this kind of scenario in your production environment where the business will say, oh, the records ideally should match because we have the exact match column but they are not matching and the reason is this one because we are using filtered match now how can we fix the filtered match there are four solutions to fix this issue first of all as we see the search level we configured is typical we can tweak the search level so that the ranges will increase so we can configure either exhaustive or extreme to include the more tokens the problem with using the exhaustive or extreme, it will cause the or matching. And if, if you do not have such a scenario, if your data set is small set, it is okay to use exhaustive and extreme. But if you have the data set large volume, it will end up with having the more matches and it will adversely impact your match performance as well as the matching. If, does, if search level does not satisfy your need, then the next option we can choose that is nothing but the updating the fuzzy match key column. In our case, the fuzzy match key column is based on the party name. So instead of using the same party name, which has the different values, right? So instead of that, we can use any standardization software. For example, if we'd like to standardize the names, we can use Trillium software. If you have the issue with the address matching, then you can use the address doctor or equivalent the address standardization software. Once we use any standardization software, then we can standardize the name and populate the standardized name in completely new column. So in this case, we have to create two column. One is standard full name and other is source full name. In the source full name, you can populate the values which you are currently populating in the full name. But in the standard full name, we have to populate the standard values which are coming through the standard software, standard naming software. So, and we can use the standard full name as a fuzzy match key column. And that way we can resolve the issue and we'll have the more appropriate matches. If you are not willing to make the data model change for adding the standard full name, then we can have the next option 
and that is nothing but changing the filter match rule to the exact match rule. So you can instead of using filter match rule, you can use the exact match rule, and that will resolve uh, this issue as well. If the all these three options are not feasible, then definitely the last option is we have to revisit the match rules. We have to talk to business team and align them with the tools behavior and their expectation what they can expect from this matching the record. So we have to revisit the match rules and reconfigure based on the business need. So th these are the four solutions available to address the filtered match issue. I hope you understand what are the limitations with the filtered match condition and how to address it. If you like this video, please do not forget to subscribe my channel for more interesting updates on various softwares which include Informatica MDM, Snowflake, Cloud and so on. Thank you everyone. Have a good rest of the day.